Hi, I'm Selma Pierce and I'm running for state rep for House District 20. Two years ago, my husband Bud Pierce ran for governor. I accompanied him every step of the way, visiting 30 of Oregon's 36 counties. Oregon is full of really good people, people who are hardworking, people who care very deeply about their communities and the future of our state. Many people felt that the people are not heard, that government is not responsive to the people. I've been a dentist for over 30 years. The key is listening to my patients. I work for my patients. I do what they need. One of my greatest joys is giving to my community, whether it's setting up free dental clinics, getting students prepared for career in college, or working with groups that strengthen families. I come from an ordinary family. My dad worked for the state as an auditor. Mom went from working in a factory canning pineapple to being a computer programmer. She always believed that women can do anything they set their minds to and getting paid the same as a man for the same work. When the opportunity came up to run for state rep, I gave it a lot of thought. How often do we say, somebody should take care of this? Somebody should do something about that? That someone is us. If we don't step up to find solutions, then who will? I know my community. I spent years making my community better. By running for office, I will continue to serve my community. I will be their voice, their advocate. When Bud and I came to Oregon 24 years ago, we had our, only our education and training and a willingness to work hard. Oregon needs an education system that will prepare our students to seize the opportunities that Oregon offers. Our students need to be engaged, eager to learn, and well prepared for the future. Absenteeism should not run about 30%. Students of color should not have significantly lower graduation rates. We need a longer school year, longer school days. Even educators want more time with their students. Our students deserve a top-notch education. Career technical education is an excellent way to engage students. It's a great path for those who want to start a career rather than going to college right after high school. With the hands-on instruction, we no longer hear, why am I learning this? Why do I need to know this? Expensive housing is something that working families, young people, and seniors struggle with. Public-private collaborations can find creative solutions to make housing less expensive. It may be finding less expensive land, lower development fees, smaller units, or simpler building designs. Solutions can be found. As we look around our communities and see people huddled in doorways or sleeping under tarps, we have to think that we can do better. Don't think that these people are someone else's problem. They too are part of our community. Businesses and farms are the backbone, creators and innovators of our communities. They come up with exciting new ideas and are willing to work the long hours to carry them out. They employ the majority of the people in this area. We should celebrate and support these businesses the business climate in Oregon should be encouraging. So what is the goal? We need to be the Oregon where businesses and people thrive. Our children receive an excellent education. There are reasonable taxes. Homes are affordable. Traffic is free flowing and we have time to enjoy our majestic outdoors. The Pierces are known for hard work, integrity, giving to our community and getting the job done. It's time to take that to the legislature. As Governor Tom McCall said, this is my community and it is my responsibility to make it better. Vote for Selma Pierce for House District 20. Thank you.